Then I'm gonna kill all of you. Come 
man da sein. Ah. Hola, Rosi, und da dann. Louise will be okay. Take on the bay! Still, this war seems to resemble the War of the Lions more by the minute. History tells us towns were set ablaze all across the country back then as well. Really? That is said to have been the case, yes. Although the situation back then is very different compared to now. True enough. This war's been relatively bloodless in comparison, so something like this happening is a big deal. Still, in the long term, this is bound to hurt the Alliance's cause more than it will help. That's why I'm finding it so hard to picture that Rufus would give the go-ahead to do it. I think it's safe to say it was just Duke Alborea doing his own thing. He really seems to hate how Duke Cayenne's higher in practice than him in the Alliance. I'm sorry. But this is where we part ways. Captain, please let me disembark somewhere nearby. What? Y you can't be serious! You're not... You're not thinking of trying to settle things with your father alone, are you? <sighs> I can't believe you would even entertain the thought. You need to take a deep breath and calm down before you do something you regret, Eustace. Can't blame me. I would do. How dare you? Don't act like you know the first thing about what I'm feeling right now. As a member of the Alborea family, I have a duty to stop my father. You have no right. We have every right to interfere, Eusis. This is clearly too much for one person to handle alone. Machius is right. 
We need to calm down and we need to think this over together. <sighs> yeah, this isn't like you at all. As your classmates and friends, it's not hard to imagine how terrible you must be feeling right now. But that's exactly why we want to help you. And I believe we can. We should discuss how to approach this matter together. We should kill Dr. Albaria. <laughs> That's a class 7 I know. Still, this isn't a matter to be taken lightly. Your actions could have a profound effect on the war from here on out. If you're going to get yourselves involved, you're going to need to be prepared for the potential consequences. But I'm sure you guys know the deal at this point. We fully understand what you're saying. So far, we've tried to keep our interference with the war itself to a minimum. However, what just happened in Keldic was an act of terrorism against innocent civilians. We can't turn a blind eye to that. We don't. You're right. We're all agreed there. The market manager did a lot for us, both during our field study and when we were lying low there after the war broke out. I'm of the same opinion. He may be head of one of the four great houses, but the Imperial family can still make him answer for his crimes. So please, use my position and this ship however necessary to bring him to justice. Thank you, Your Highness. Alright, I think it's time we come up with a solid plan. We can't allow Duke Alborea to do anything so inhuman ever again. Thank you. Huh? Is there a call coming through? Where is it coming from? Um, bear with me a moment. This can't be right. It's coming from an airship owned by the Noble Alliance. How can that be? They must have sneaked into range. What should we do, Toa? I think I can shake them off if I try. No, put the call up on the screen. It's a pleasure to see you all again, especially you, my dear brother. And Princess Alphen is with you too. Truly, it's an honor, your highness. Uh, Rufus? Goodness. Why are you calling us? I apologize for calling so abruptly. Rest assured, I have no intention of attacking or otherwise harming you. I'm calling because there is information of which I'd like to make you aware. Due to the rather sensitive nature of my message, this feed is a private communique from my personal airship. What could you possibly have to tell us? Does this concern Keldic by any chance? It does indeed. I imagine all of you have seen what befell the town yourselves. The attack on Keldic was instigated by Duke Alborea alone. We of the Noble Alliance do not in any way condone it. If you plan to confront the Duke about his actions, you need fear no interference from us. Mm-hmm. Huh? Oh, I get it. You want us to take him out, don't you? Yeah. Surely not. The bulk of the Kreutzen Provincial Army is already under my control. The attack was carried out by a small contingent of soldiers who remain loyal to my father. At present, they've walled themselves up in Oroch's fort along with him. With the aid of the Imperial Army, you ought to be able to take the fortress without much trouble. This is insane. They're not as well trained as the ones who are serving you, so you don't mind losing them, do you? I'm impressed at how cold-hearted the objective you can be, Mr. Chief of Staff. Bet you'd love it if we ended up killing each other so you'd have nothing to worry about, huh? <laughs> nothing of the sort, Miss Glossel. Still, there's no denying my father's actions will be a millstone around the neck of the Alliance going forward. But considering the position I hold, I can't very well publicly oppose him. And that's why I figured I might bring up the matter with all of you. Hmm. Well, I've said my part. Oh, and Eusis, this is an intensely family-centric affair, as I'm sure you realize. I... Well then, if you'll excuse me. I suppose I'll hope and pray for your success this once as a sitting member of Thor's Board of Directors. Uh, no 
nothing like using other people to do your dirty work. There remains a real possibility that this is a trap. Still, now we know the Alliance wants something done about Duke Alvarez as much as we do. This could be the best chance we're ever going to get to stop him from wreaking more havoc. <sighs> I can't allow my father to commit any more of these unforgivable crimes. I will go to Aurok's fort and apprehend Duke Alvarea myself. And it would mean the world to me if all of you were to lend me your aid. <laughs> Do you even need to ask? Of course we will. We'll be with you every step of the way. Hell yeah. To the Kreutzen province secured. Courageous, full speed ahead. Go, go, go! Just stop my body. City from both sides? Those shameless fiends! Yeah. Is there still no response from the Pantagruel? I'm afraid no. not, Your Grace. We've been trying repeatedly, but we've yet to gain contact. The same remains true for Lord Rufus's personal ship as well. Uh, that damn son of mine. Surely he isn't planning on casting me aside. I thought Eusus was the only useless son I had, but I see I was mistaken. 
Regardless, we must make the best of what we have and repel those intruders. See that my will is done. Yes, Your Grace. Ah, wrong. I'm dying. There's a sad sight. Man, if I'd known things were gonna pan out to be such a mess here, I would have gone to where the 4th Division is. Remember, we're not to even think of trying to fight in any of this war's major battles. We belong in the shadows, and as such, that is where we shall remain. Leave the battles that will be recorded in history's pages to others. Too uptight for someone whose only job now is to sit and do a whole lot of nothing. Hell, didn't you just get back from Crossbell? If we're just gonna be sitting around anyway, you might as well relax. Well, I can't deny I have as little interest as you in being. But interest or no, this is work! WORK! <laughs> Looks like I'm not the only one who doesn't want to be here. Then again, it takes a special kind of person to want to help someone who has no problem burning his own territory to the ground. Still, as someone whose own life is about to burn out, perhaps this is where I belong. May I manage one last moment of beauty before my flame burns out completely? Nah, nah. Chance to rush inside. Right. Don't get ahead of yourselves now. Scarlet. That sounds like Scarlet. Every guy. A new soul dot. Hello, beautiful children of class seven. Hello, beautiful It looks like our time to fight has come once again. Scarlet? Scarlet, is that you? <laughs> Not a fan of you suddenly showing up. Oh well. I still owe you for managing to escape from us back at Gorelia Fortress. I suppose so, but for what it's worth, I just don't care. I don't care about our past encounters. I don't care about the Noble Alliance, and I don't care about what happens to this country. Huh? What do you mean? I have no reason to want to cling to life. See, punish the man who stole everything from me just to put a railway through my homeland. By putting that was all I lived for. Now it's done. 
Right now, I'm nothing but a walking corpse searching for a place to die. That's why I've come to see you, Ashley Prince. You're the perfect opponent for me to fall in battle against. She's acting just like V did. She's lost the will to live as well. Oh, what a spoiled child. <laughs> Still, you're all welcome to join me if you want. This Kestrel Soldat was designed for pure speed, and I'm going to be pushing it past its limits and flying it straight to hell where V and G are. But there's always room for more passengers on the trip. I'll give you the full story if you decide to join us. Sound fair? And if you choose not to join? Well, that way has its own charms, I suppose. If it's a fight you want, I can grant you that much! But I'm not going to make the same mistake twice! I won't let anyone else so easily choose to die! <laughs> if you think you can stop me, go right ahead and try, Ashen Awakener! Yeah. This will be a tough one. Be careful! Go for it. Would you mind? All right, let's get this started. Down to me. Okay. 
I'll show you how it's done. Did it. Nice work, Reem. <laughs> I can see why you were C's classmate. You fought just as wonderfully as he does in his Azure life. Now I can go with no- This is bad! Watch out, Reem! Pushing her soul dot for that kind of speed put a huge strain on its orbital engine. At this rate, the same thing that happened with B's gonna happen here, too. I won't let that happen. I'm not going to stand back and allow anyone else to die. Not if I have the power to stop it. We're doing this, Valimar! Acknowledged. Go, go, go. Rain. 
There really is no end to your recklessness. Is that our soldat's cockpit? Yeah. Looks like I managed to separate it in time. I want to check to see if she's alright in there just in case, though. <laughs> you put on a good show, Reem. Alright, everyone. We're going in. Right! We need to do this while Dad and the others are keeping the soldiers from the Fort Ark. We will go and assess the situation inside. Follow as soon as you are able. I will. Take care, everyone. Our objective is to infiltrate the fortress and apprehend my father, Duke Alborea. Remain on guard at... Class 7, Group A, advance into the fortress! How is she, Valimar? I detect vital readings from inside. Her life appears to be in no danger. <sighs> this should do it. Uh, Are you okay? Why did you have to? I was so close. So close to being reunited with them. Sorry, but I wasn't about to let that happen. I can't pretend to know everything about the life that you've led. But based on what I do know, I don't believe it's okay for that life to come to an end like this. Accept justice for what you've done, and then find a way to atone for your crimes. <laughs> you really are soft. Uh, uh. Looks like she passed out. Still. Glad I made it in time. <laughs> Same here. Th that's. It's Ordine! How long have you been there? Oh, how cute! Did you come because you were all worried about your friend? You got me. Still, I wasn't expecting you to try a vent with stakes quite that high. Did you even stop to think for one second about what would happen if you got caught in that explosion? I wasn't thinking at all, to be honest. Still, if I can't win a bet like that, what chance do I have of winning against you? Right, Crow? <laughs> Fair enough. Well, thanks. Oh, and reinforcing your weapon with Sumerian ores, not a bad idea. Just know that you're going to need to do more than reinforce some old sword to match up to Ordine. <gasps> so, you know, keep working your way through those trials. Oh, and that was some fine work you did in making it, George. Can't wait to see what the final product looks like. I think you'll like what you see. As for the two of you, Toa and Junk, looks like you've really gotten the hang of flying that thing. I don't think there are many students out there who can learn to handle a cutting-edge cruiser in a couple of weeks. <laughs> you two are nuts. Ha! <laughs> it was nothing. We can't afford to take forever getting used to a ship when we've got a troublemaker like you to bring home. Just you wait! You'll be coming back to us. I promise you that. And I hope you're ready to be on cleaning duty until graduation as a penalty for worrying us so much! <laughs> if you think you can do it, go right ahead. You still got a long way to go before you can defeat me. But I ain't gonna complain if you actually pulled it off. <laughs> okay! Time to get back to work. Your classmates must be waiting inside for you by now. You should go after them. We'll get Valimar back on board the Courageous and keep watch here. Ha! <laughs> Good luck! Thanks. We'll be back soon. Stop right there! It isn't the Northern Jaegers. Step aside. Our business is with Duke Alborea, not with you. 
afraid that